Jones. Uh, tuned in with my boy Chant Jones. Chant man. Jones. So it is. The people's chant. Uh, listen. Uh, yeah. uh, boy, I'm the dark night. Boy, I'm the dark night. Dark shades, black nights. Boy, I'm the dark night. Boy, I'm the dark night. Boy, I'm the dark night. Dark tents, uh, black fists. Yeah. Boy, I'm the dark night. Black parade with the darkest shades. I live in a place with the darkest slaves. No faith in this heartless space. They aim AKs at the darker race. The darkest face, tell the most history. And the most misery, uh. Dear God, please come and sit with me. And blow a spliff with me. See the game and how we. Has Champ ever chatted with Champ? Honestly, it, 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 all, it all depends on who you grew up around, like you said. Negative peer pressure, for one. It was around. If you was, a, like me, I was a kid, I was the type of person to be curious. I was a curious ass kid, man. So when I seen it, I'm like, yeah, what's that? What's that about? What, what, what's really good? And right here, this is where it all started, man. All started. Like Huntington and Collins, man. Coming up, we played baseball in one field, but down the street was the crack people pitching. So when you get tired of playing baseball every day, where you go down? You go down the street to see what they doing down there. And what they doing? Popping bottles. They got females coming from other strips. They got a lot of things like, but like I said, it's all about the curious mindset because you did have some of the older dudes say, get the hell out of here, what you doing out here? Go up the street because they know your mother and father. Get out of here, but it's up to you. You want to keep pushing that issue that you want to be around that. Of course they going to try to give it to you the right way, but of course, you going they never told you about the bumps and the, and the bruises that come with it. You feel me? So you gonna have to feel this shit for yourself. Like I never knew by holding the gun. Like you feel me? You get caught with that shit, you gonna do two and a half or better five years. Like they don't tell you that at the end of the day. They let you buy the shit from them. They let you do what you want to do. They supply you with the bullets. Then what? You out here sturdy on the block, You're not going nowhere. You're going nowhere fast. You feel me? Cause that shit, they never touch but the consequences that come with everything, man. So the pre pressure, like I said, like if you want to be a knucklehead growing up, you're gonna be a knucklehead. You want to be a curious individual, you're gonna fuck with so many things out here that you had no business touching in the first place. That's why your mother always tell you, listen to what she's saying and don't go by what she's doing. You mm -hmm. feel me? Everybody don't take heed to that shit till you fucked up in the wrong situation and you can't get out of it. And then when you in that situation, who you got? Your mother that was saying the same thing that you were supposed to be listening to from the get. Yeah. I'm kind of glad you said that. Because like you said, it's about, the, it's about the pressure. Pressure bust pipes regardless of what you want to do. Regardless of where you at. You could be in jail. You could be out here in the real world. This shit, this shit, like growing up, trying to, or trying to grow up fast, like no lie. That's why your mother always try to hand you certain responsibilities when you're growing up, so you can see how it is. It's, le it's really levels to this shit, like me says, it's levels to this shit, man. And if some people keep out here, they can't even get an apartment. From from the simple fact you growing up, y'all, you hustling all this whole time, but you don't even got a GED, you don't got no high school diploma, you got no pay stuff. Now what? You got to live off of next female. Then. Or you living with your baby mother, whatever the case may be. Now you don't got nowhere to go. You gotta be stuck with her. Now what? You gonna sit here and live in your car? That's probably not even registered in the short. Then you get pulled over. You get another case. Like cases on top of cases, that bring more stress. Now you out here trying to pay for lawyers. Now you out here trying to do this. Like I said, pressure bus pipes, man. Regardless of what situation you went, even a, a good raised household, no lie. <clears throat> Cause my mother was a Christian. She grew up on the she grew up in church every Sunday, Easter, every all that. But I still took to the streets because I was so curious. Then with me being incarcerated, I, I felt myself slipping at one point. But I had to gain the win. How you how my poor pop said it? 
gotta get the win behind your back, partner. And, and like you know, if they're gonna take you out, they go. You feel me? But at the same time, you gotta be mentally prepared and physically prepared at the same time because don't nobody got you like you. So if you don't educate yourself on how to elevate from every given situation, you're gonna be stuck. You're gonna it's gonna be like a, a slowly, slowly sinking hole, and you're gonna be stuck in that one spot that you think you can never get out of. And then I, when I see people like that, it hurts me because. He ain't smarter than me in school. Empty cans with empty plans. Waiting for hope or Superman. It's Jones to save them all. The fiends getting high, trying to shake it off. I'm facing thoughts, breaking a folks. Smoking with a ghost as I write my quotes. Gladiator, soul of a savior. Break homes. We gotta just hear that fucking statistic, man. Because we get stuck in our way. It's a lot of hate. Another thing that comes with that statistic is a lot of hate. Because talking, man. I'm telling you, a nigga that hate on you so much, man, homo, homo sets some, some food at you. Mm. So now when you when they, they, they got somebody coming to get you, get robbed, now you about to, you already know you put it across the teeth and not the eyes, now you know who did it. Now you go over there and shoot him. Now you wanna run, now they rush your house, now you got more drugs in your house. Think about it, it's like a it's like a, a um what do you call that shit? Like a domino effect. But as far as, let me get back to the question. I believe that this shit happened with African Americans the way it did with the statistics with because the simple fact we get comfortable with doing the same shit. It's a right, it's a right to cut corners, it's a right to jump a little hurdle over another hurdle so you don't touch the little hurdle. But at the same time, everything that you do comes with a fucking consequence, man. Regardless of what, I don't even care if it's for you. Even though it's for your kids, your kids might not feel that comfortable, but you're going to feel it. So, we get so comfortable with just living off the... This is... Well, we consider that... Certain people look at that living off the land, okay? Selling drugs and fiends and da 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 this is, this is far from living off the land. Because you got people in Africa who got to wash their clothes in the bucket. We we choosing not to use that hurdle. And we got to really go rob Peter to pay Paul just to put quarters in the laundry mat. So we could use the laundry mat. Feel me? So that's what I mean. Like we, we get so comfortable with the shit that we've been doing for so long, we're not elevating off of this shit. Without a soul of sight, just snow with pipes is like poacher dice. Exposed to fights and provoke for strikes. You going for life, what a song to write. It's a dog. Alright, yeah, man. Listen, man. Everybody show y'all support, show y'all y'all views, whatever the case may be. My boy chat with Chip, man. Go back to five flats on the caddy, man. Five flats on the caddy, you heard? But listen, man, he doing positive things. I'm trying to be positive, man. No negativity, no no bad karma, none of that. Just come hop on the track, you know. My boy doing his thing, man. He got this camera for a reason, man. He trying to put Harper on the map just like everybody else is. But instead of him doing music, instead of him doing something negative, he doing something positive, man. So come on the track, jump on the view, chat with Chint, man. You know, holla at me, man. Real shit. Holla. Yo, man, stay tuned in the chat with Chin. Boy on the dark night. Boy on the dark night. Dark tents. Uh -huh. Black fists. Yeah. Boy, I'm the dark night. Black parade with the darkest shades. I live in a place with the darkest slaves.